Hi, Michelle. Hi, Rena. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Seattle, but I'm here in L.A. right now. And can you please tell me a little bit about your educational background? Sure. I went to University of Oregon, and uh, was in U which is in Eugene, Oregon, and then uh, moved up to Seattle just about six years ago. And how does one become a trends expert? Uh, well, I, you know, I've been at Amazon now for almost six years. Um, my, my background and my degree is in journalism and communication. Um, and when, uh, you know, at Amazon, I do all of uh, the PR uh, for video. So really what you have to do is watch a lot of shows and figure out uh, what exactly people want to watch, check out viewing habits, viewer behaviors, and that kind of all lets you figure out the new trends that help us decide what shows to make. Now, what do you like best about being at Amazon? Oh, uh, I don't know. You know, I love the people. There are a lot of things. That's why I was struggling for a second. I, there are a lot of things I love about it. I love the people, the atmosphere, the environment. We're in right in downtown Seattle. Um, and, you know, it just it's a, a fun place to be. I love the work that we do. Um, we're really customer focused. And so we always look at what the customer wants and, in our case, what the customer is watching. Um, and as a customer, I, uh, I love that. I feel like Amazon is really one of those places that says, okay, I'm going to provide you exactly what you want. Now, how do you find out what people want to watch? Well, uh, you know, for the, uh, we were, we are able to see, you mean from an Amazon side? Yeah. What we, yeah. So we're able to see what people are streaming, um, you know, just based on, uh, you know, if they're watching, um, what you know a show whether it's catastrophe or American Playboy um, we're able to see you know is someone watching a, a comedy or a drama um, you know and are they watching you know for one minute or ten minutes um, so that all kind of goes into a data engine that allows us to see um, what people are liking we also have you know the pilot season which is um, really helpful um, for us to see what people like, because we ask viewers to comment. We'll say, hey, you know, we're going to hear the, the latest pilots that we're going to announce. We want your help to decide which one gets greenlit into new shows. And uh, so we're able to see their comments and how many star ratings they give it. How has streaming changed television? Uh, well, I think, you know, the biggest thing is we love instant gratification. And so streaming has enabled us to watch the shows that we want, when we want, how we want. And, um, you know, it just makes it really easy and convenient where we're not necessarily tied to um, our TVs. We're able uh, to, you know, be on the go or sit in the doctor's office while we're waiting and just pop on our favorite shows. What makes a show bingeable? Uh, well, I think the biggest thing is cliffhangers. You know, I've, I binge watched Homeland for like the first four seasons. I just couldn't get <laughs> enough of it. And I think it's because at the end, you know, you want to find out what's happening next. They leave you hanging. And so it just forces you to say, oh, I can't wait for, for another one. Or, uh, you know, on comedies, the, usually they're 30 minute shows. And so, you know, you get this little nugget and you're like, oh, okay, you know, that, that's another one. I want to keep watching it. Um, so just, you know, I think it's the fact that the really good content um, that makes it really easy uh, to just say, yep, I'm going to watch another episode. Now, not every show streaming on Amazon is original. Some were, were somewhere else first. How does Amazon get the rights for these shows? Uh, well, there's a team of people that works on, uh, you know, getting the rights. We also have um, relationships with HBO and Showtime, and we offer their subscriptions on our service. So you can, uh, you know, have all of your content all in one place on Amazon um, and not necessarily have to jump from app to app to say, oh, I, that show was on Showtime, or wait, maybe that show was on HBO. Um, you just have to look for the show you want to watch, and it's there. Now, what if someone really misses a show from their youth or something like that? Is there a way for them to contact Amazon to have them stream the show that they want? Yeah, I mean, that's the benefit of streaming is that they're all available. You don't even have to contact us, um, you know, just search for a certain show. So, you know, we um, Big Little Lies, for example, was um, really popular. It just finished. Homeland, I mentioned. Those are all available on Amazon. You just simply search for them and uh, pull them up. You can binge watch them all at once. I want cold case. 
<laughs> okay. I can I can see about getting cold case. <laughs> we'll, well let the I, team I, know. Well, I heard though that some of the shows that have really extensive soundtracks, getting the music makes it harder sometimes. Oh, or sure. Yeah. I mean, there's certainly a lot of aspects involved in uh, in in streaming and getting uh, various shows made or getting uh, you know getting various music aspects of it. But um, yeah, it, all in all, the the best thing we can do is provide great content for our customers. Now, what do we have to look forward to right now on Amazon? Well, there are a few uh, great comedies coming up that I'll mention. Catastrophe Season 3 is back. Uh, that one is a you know, family kind of relationship comedy. Uh, lots of time to catch up on Seasons 1 and 2 if you missed those. Veep on HBO, a lot of fans uh, are, you know, Julia Louis-Dreyfus fans, so that one's another one that definitely I would recommend people watch. And then there's a new show um, called I'm Dying Up Here coming from Showtime, and that's about the stand-up comedy scene in uh, the 70s in L.A. So, you know, if you're interested in learning about stand-up comics, that's a pretty funny one. Um, also, you know, on the drama side, We've got American Playboy, the Hugh Hefner story, behind the scenes look at uh, all things Playboy and how that got started. Um, additionally, Bosch is a great uh, crime drama set here in LA based on the Michael Connelly books. And uh, that's back uh, for season three. I know it's highly anticipated. Um, also, I would uh, mention Twin Peaks is a highly anticipated show with a little bit of a cult following. Um, it had, you know, two seasons back in uh, the 90s and Showtime is bringing it back. And finally, House of Cards is back for its fifth season starting May 30th on Netflix. And how would you suggest that people weed through all the clutter to figure out the right shows for them to watch? Sure, recommendations are really helpful here. So um, once you've watched a show or as you're searching for a show, there'll be, um, uh, carousel uh, or a panel at the bottom of the screen that says recommended for you and it's a series of shows that are specifically recommended to say you know okay you watched catastrophe you're probably gonna like transparent or you watched Bosch you'll probably like Homeland and so it just helps people you know really look through and say okay I, I know I liked that show so I'm probably gonna like this one too now beyond mainstream TV what else is out there that people don't even know exists well, there's been a lot of these niche subscriptions that have become incredibly popular. So anime is a niche genre that uh, a lot of people like. And so Amazon created Anime Strike, which is a curated channel specifically for anime fans. And it's only anime content. Um, we also know there are you know, a lot of British TV fans after uh, Downton Abbey came out. So Acorn TV is a subscription that you can get on Amazon. Um, that is literally just British television. So there's a lot of um, more genre specific type channels that are out there that a lot of people um, have found and really started to enjoy. And how is Amazon related to all of these places like Acorn? So um, we offer their subscription on our service. So we have a uh, Amazon Channels is a service that has a ton of a la carte subscriptions, over 100 a la carte subscriptions. And you just simply add them to your, um, your channel lineup and you can watch all of the shows that come with that channel all consolidated into your Amazon Prime Video experience. And uh, all of this just goes along with a regular Amazon Prime subscription? Correct. So there's your Amazon Prime video subscription that you will get if you're a Prime member. You also have uh, an option of just a standalone Prime video service. Um, and then Amazon Channels is uh, an offering for Prime members that allows you to add these a la carte channels. So HBO, for example, is a $14.99 subscription that you get through Amazon. And that means that all of those HBO shows that you want to watch are available within the Amazon uh, interface and so that means you don't have to jump from app to app and you don't necessarily have to know oh was Big Little Lies on HBO you just know you really want to watch that show Big Little Lies and you can get it on Amazon. How can people connect with you? Uh, well Amazon video on uh, the, our in, is our Instagram account and our Twitter account that's the best way and that's also the best way to keep up to speed on uh, the new shows that are coming out. 
Okay. Uh, well, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just check out Amazon.com slash video for more, and IMDB.com is a great place to learn about cast and crew and some behind-the-scenes footage of uh, the great shows. All right, great. Well, happy binging. Thank you. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.